Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, right now I want to show you a, a quick trick um, on most Volkswagen and Audi vehicles. Um, this is a 2012 CC. Uh, how to retract the electronic parking brake in the rear of the vehicle uh, so that you can replace the brake pads. Um, Audi and Volkswagen designed these cars with the electronic parking brakes uh, so that you have to hook up a computer in order to retract the electronic parking brake in order to compress the piston to get it back over the brake pads and uh, most people don't have you know the three or four hundred dollar computer it takes to do that so I'm going to show you a quick way that you can do that today with uh, just a pair of multimeter cables and a, a, a jump starter box or a 12 volt battery. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, obviously jack up the car and take off the wheel. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be doing any of this. Uh, you're probably better off just paying the $500 <laughs> that the dealership cost uh, quoted me to replace the rear brakes. Uh, but it's really easy. If you have any Volkswagen, most of them come with these little caps, these little lock caps. They go over top of the lug nuts, and there will be a tool in the back underneath the carpet that looks like this that you use to just pop them out. They look like they have a little Torx head, but they don't. Uh, you just use this tool to kind of hook in there and pull them out. After that, you're going to take off each one of the lug nuts, obviously, and if yours came with the locking lug nuts, you'll have to use uh, the, the, the key for uh, whichever you know lug nut it is that uh, you use it on. Okay, once you have your wheel off, the next thing you're gonna do is take off the caliper right here. Uh, I'm gonna be replacing the rotors at some point, obviously, because they need to be replaced, but for today's video, it's just gonna be this. So, it's real easy to do. There are two bolts, one right here on the top of the caliper, and another one right back here. Uh, these are a 13 millimeter bolt, and uh, you'll also need a 15 millimeter um, wrench or vice grips or something to hold these bolts right here on the inside, right there on the inside right there. Uh, so 13 on the back, 15 here, so that you can actually twist this off, you'll need to hold this in place. All right, once you have the last bolt taken out, so now both bolts are out, the one on the top and the one on the bottom, you can slide this assembly off. It should just come right off with a little bit of finagling, and you're gonna wanna set it off to the side. Uh, this right here, this piece works really well. It's kinda shaped for it. You can set it up on top of there, and it won't really go anywhere. Um, this, is the, this is where you wanna take the time to actually replace the pads. Uh, they slide out pretty easy. The, the brake jobs on these cars are pretty easy to do. Um, it's just that the pesky electronic parking brake uh, gets in the way. And then there's also obviously a brake pad on the back that you want to slide right out. I'm reusing the clips because uh, the kit that I bought didn't come with new clips. So that'll be okay. Out with the old. We're going to throw some new ones in there real quick. And we'll be back to show you the, the fun part. All right, so we got our new pads in there. Uh, just our, our CarQuest Gold. Uh, premium ceramic brake pads from Advanced Auto Parts. They've worked good. That's what I've always used. Uh, now the part <clears throat> that you're probably clicking on this video for. Uh, this right here is the electronic parking brake motor. This whole assembly on the back of the uh, caliper. So there is a motor in here uh, that drives a rod into the piston and when it's activated, you cannot compress this in order to slide the caliper back over the brakes, as I'm sure you know. Uh, so you have to use an electrical current uh, through this connector to actually unwind the piston. It's real easy to do. Um, what you're going to need is a 12-volt battery. I'm using a jump box. Um, you know, it, it already has, you charge it up, and it's got jumper cables attached to it. And then you're going to need multimeter leads, uh, which you can buy at Harbor Freight. I got these cheap. Uh, I cut the ends off of them and then just clamp them to the clamps themselves, to the to the jump box leads, and we're going to use that to trick the electronic parking brake into unwinding so that we can compress this piston. Okay, so like I said, the next step is getting this electrical uh, connection off the back of the electronic parking brake motor. 
I had a real hard time with the other one, but I figured out a really easy way to do it. Uh, so just for reference, this is the caliper in my hand. It's this connector on the back of it. You're gonna wanna get a flathead screwdriver and slide it right in here. There's a little tab you have to kind of lift up and then push it off with your thumb and uh, middle finger, index finger on the other hand or whatever. So once that's off, we'll move to the next part. Okay, so once you have that connection off, I went ahead and I put my caliper press in here. Uh, you're gonna wanna just kinda set the, set the caliper right here, find somewhere to set it up where you're able to see down in to those uh, connectors. Um, <clears throat> now you are gonna need, like I said, you're gonna need a couple of multimeter leads. Uh, I got these from Harbor Freight for $5. And if you look down here, you can just see that I've connected them to a, just a dump box. Uh, each lead is connected to the, you know, the gator teeth, uh, jump starter cables. And then you're going to use these two to touch the leads inside of this connector. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's only two prongs. The left one, you're going to want to put the, you're going to want to put the uh, positive cable on, and the right lead, you're going to want to put the negative lead on. Once you're doing this, you'll be able to see down in there. But I'll show you what it sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and put the left or the positive lead to the left and the negative to the right, and you can hear the motor unwinding. Eventually it'll stop. There we go. So it stops or it sounds differently. And this is where you can uh, start to crank in the piston. And that's pretty much it, guys. Once you've, uh, once you've got this thing cranked all the way in, you can slide it over your calipers there, hook this connection back up. <clears throat> bolt back, you know, bolt everything back into place, put your wheel on, and then you're going to want to start the car, pump the brakes a few times, and activate the electronic parking brake three times. So you're going to want to activate it, deactivate it, activate it, deactivate it, activate it, deactivate it, and uh, you should be good to go.